All right, so basically, uh, I don't know, I was trying to get this thing to pee yesterday. Um, basically it wouldn't, I tried to flush it, uh, tried to flush it through the bottom, tried to flush it, uh, back flush it through the actual telltale hole, and then I actually tried to flush it through the top of the center block. I hit it with uh, compressed air, I hit it with uh, pressurized water, uh, everything. You know, if it was used at some point in salt water, I can see a little like erosion down here. And then, of course, on the lower unit, the lower unit looks pretty bad. But uh, that, there's only one way to fix this. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just pull off this power head so I can uh, expose the exhaust baffle. Um, those bolts, you can't get to them unless you actually lift the, the whole thing up. So that's what we're going to be doing. I just got to go through and actually un disconnect all the ignition components, uh, the internal wiring harness. Uh, this everything basically so I can get uh, get this off and see what's going on down there all right all right so what I've done so far let's see instead of disconnecting all those uh, fragile fragile wires there I just uh, unplugged uh, or took the four screws out of here I soaked everything in PB blast uh, that thing is definitely a lifesaver uh, I disconnected the ignition coil and the bottom of the plate there's still two drain hoses here that are connected to the lower lower shroud. Uh, I, I'm going to disconnect those when I actually lift the power head up. Um, took the lower shroud off. Uh, basically, you got a couple bolts down here. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten bolts. They're all soaking in PB blast now. I got to loosen those up. <laughs> And then in addition to that, the exhaust uh, baffle over here, all these have been soaked uh, with PP Blast. And I spared no expense. I made it rain on this, <laughs> on this exhaust baffle. So I'm going to let that soak for a little bit. And then I'm going to clip to uh, where I'm actually pulling the power head off. Hopefully she comes off easy. Sometimes these power heads actually freeze onto the midsection. So I'm hoping that is not the case. But, uh, yep, we're going to find out. We're going to hook that jack up and we're going to lift her up. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, today's weather sucks. Supposed to be spring, but whatever. Alright, got all the bolts loose, I think. Guess we're gonna find out. Head's
Jesus. All right, so the power head is removed. Right here is where the water comes up, right there through that uh, little hole, fills up the water table. Goes underneath here. It's very windy today. I can't see any type of blockage. So, I'm gonna have to take this cover off so I can see the full water table, which these two bolts right here are giving me grief. They won't move. The other ones I can get to move, like I said, they've been soaking in PV blast and all that stuff. Uh, here's where the water's supposed to come out. I don't really see... I don't really see anything blocking it, so... Alright, on to the next step. Alright, so I actually tried to... Uh, I actually tried to run water directly through the bottom. And the way the water works, it fills the cylinder head first. Then comes across the top, and then it comes down, forms a water jacket, and then it's supposed to exit there. I was forcing water here, pretty high pressure. I mean, I had the faucet on full blast, I had to cut the hose and shoved it in there. Uh, you know, did it about three or four times just to make sure no water was able to get. So basically, just trickling through. So what I've done now, I believe the problem lies in the cylinder head. So I'm going to pop off the uh, pop off the cylinder head and see what it looks like underneath there. Yeah, that's far no pull on this because, like I said, these two bolts here are giving me grief. But I don't think the problem is here. I believe the problem is somewhere down here. I have been wrong before. Let's see here. Yeah, I did lose one bolt in the transaction and all the other bolts came out but I lost one and snapped off. So I'm gonna have to tap that out and uh, look into replacing it. All the bolts look pretty bad just from the heat constantly expanding and contracting, expanding, contracting, and attack on you know 50 plus years. Yeah. Yeah you might have a little bit of problems. Just a little bit. Corrosion and salt water in there. Uh -huh. so I'm definitely going to clean all that out. Yeah, I'll bring the camera up so you can have a look. flashlight all right and that's what the inside of a cylinder head looks like which actually looks pretty clean there's a lot of a lot of sand build up right there in the bottom of the cylinder and the water comes through those little see those little holes well, you can see it right there that little hole right there that little hole right there and that's how it cools cools the cylinder head so looking at the, the cylinder head here basically pumping water through it uh, number one a bunch of bunch of crap came out of this cylinder head a bunch of sand and rocks uh, but right there is where the water flows and as you can see it is completely completely backed up let me get a light right there looks like a where are you at? Yeah, it looks like some sort of bug or I'm not sure what that is but I'm gonna get it out of there and see if that fixes the problem should all right so I have found the problem 
as suspected, that is a piece of the water pump impeller. When I rebuilt it, it was actually missing. I don't know if you can see that or not. Missing a blade. It was blocking the entire cooling system. All right. Well, I guess I'll get some new gaskets, some new sealant, uh, some new bolts, and seal this puppy back up. Should be good to go. Thanks for watching.